Am I on yet? Hey YouTube! What's going on? Anyway, for one of my projects for school, I decided to do a topic that is kind of fun and something that I enjoy a lot. This would be viral videos. So for my project, I decided it'd be a good idea to make a video about viral videos. See kind of the catchy there? I should probably start about what this project's actually about. So, throughout the last few weeks, I've been posting a lot more videos on this channel, um, hoping for one to go viral. None of them have, and none of them probably ever will. But the goal for my project was to create a viral video. It didn't work. It almost did, but didn't work. So, I thought about getting, making a video about what a viral video is, and how to create one, and some steps that I came up with that I'm still trying to implement into my project. First off, well, what is a viral video? Number one, they need to have a lot of views. Now, it depends on what you consider to be a lot of views. This could be anything from, for me, a hundred, to some people to have over a million. That's a lot of people watching your videos. Not only that, you need to have some kind of topic that makes it worth watching. So I've kind of divided into three kind of categories that are the main video ideas. Number one, kind of a planned video, so this can be like sketches, they can be just little comedy bits, this could be like people making YouTube TV shows, which become very popular in the last few years. I have some favorites, like, is this a good idea to microwave this, Fred, other stuff like that. Then there's number two, which is videos that are just kind of spontaneous, out of the moment videos. People just kind of got on film and they became super big. Things such as, uh, Charlie bit my finger, um, people usually hitting themselves in the head or falling off something. Number three would be a big category that's coming up, and I find that this one has been developing more over the last few years. Music. Now these can be anything from music videos, to people recording their own songs, to just kind of anything musical. Examples of this one would kind of be like Justin Bieber, Rebecca Black, any kind of big artists that get discovered on YouTube. So now you're probably wondering, Hey Cassie, okay, we kind of knew this already, now what's your project? Well, my project was to try to take some of these ideas and make my video actually go viral. I haven't had much luck yet because it does take a lot of time, a lot of patience, and a lot of connections. Here are some of the ideas that I kind of came up with after doing a lot of research. And yes, I did do research, it was just kind of sitting watching YouTube videos and kind of watching which ones did well, which ones didn't do well. The title of this video was How to Make a Successful YouTube Video. Now, when you saw this, probably when you're searching for something, you're like, oh, I should watch that and I'll learn something. That's trick number one. Make a good title so someone notices your video and they'll watch it. It always works well to do that. The second thing about the videos is usually the photo. I don't know what the picture will be of this video yet. It could be doing this, or me going like, ah. It could be various number of things. That's something people look at sometimes. Because if they see something funny or entertaining, they'll probably click on it. And if it's something irrelevant to the title, so it's not just like some random video with some other random photo. It just doesn't work very well. Number three, you actually have to have a video that's going to get people's attention. So like at the beginning, the beginning of this video, if you actually sat and watched this entire video, good for you. A lot of people, they'll watch the first five seconds, see if it's interesting, and then just stop watching. Because it's not that entertaining, and they'll move to something else. So, if you can follow those three things, you'll start to get viewers. But first off, you have to do something that's really bigger. Than that. You have to make videos! The people that will be filming something and get something really funny and post it on YouTube. And then they won't hit put anything else up online. Because they kind of made their video and that's about it. They weren't planning on really having a successful video. Then there's people like me who try to do a video, say like once a week. I try to make it fresh and funny and hopes that someone sees it and laughs at it. Did you see my last video? Another big problem with YouTube videos, they usually are very very long. I feel this video should be longer because I feel that three minutes won't give me enough time to say everything I have to say. It's the worst when you see a really funny video, but it takes like another five minutes to go to the actual funny part. At that point, you get bored and you're like, ugh, forget this. It's not worth it. Most videos that actually go viral are usually because they're sent to different people, other people see it, and then just goes crazy because everyone's saying to everyone. It's like this. Imagine you send one video to one person, and those two people send it to another two people, and so on and so on and so on. That's a lot of people! So the key there is to, if you're really wanting to promote your videos and really be successful at it, join social media groups. Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, 
Any of them are great, great ways to get followers and also to get people to watch your videos. Even better, people will comment on them and suggest ideas for other videos. Now, people are probably saying, okay, this is not enough of a project, Cassie. You had to do something else. Well, I did. I actually have looked more into the YouTube culture as it is becoming a very big trend in around the world. People from all around the world are meeting each other. I was actually very lucky enough to go to a YouTube gathering in Toronto a few weeks ago and I got to meet a lot of people. Here's some of the clips from the YouTube gathering. You'll get a sense of what it is. Who's chill and you're talking to you? More people! At some point, at some point, go out with the dance. Lots of people! YouTube gatherings, people think they're just kind of meeting people that you see online. So they're almost like a YouTube celeb. YouTube celebrity. So people that have gotten very successful on YouTube and their videos have been seen by millions around the world. I met some cool people like Corey Vidal, Jory Karen. They're really, really nice people. The funny thing about these things is the people kind of just standing around in a group filming each other, filming themselves, and putting these videos on YouTube. Because that's kind of what we all do. We walk around town walking into things as we talk to our cameras. Just for we have something to post on YouTube. When I was at the YouTube gathering, I found it very interesting that there are kind of two sets of people that you'd see there. There are one group of people who would be people that would be actually like YouTubers. So you could tell they were the ones that were filming, talking to the cameras, interviewing people, and kind of getting a sense for it and getting ideas for the next video. And then there are the fans, and the fans are really cool too because the fans watch all the videos, they know the people, they go up to them and they say quotes to them and they talk about their lives because most people who are big on YouTube sometimes blog about their lives and it's really neat. But to actually get to that place, you have to become very successful. I'm saying not just like your mom watched your video and liked it and sent it to a few people at the office. You need thousands upon thousands of hits. Something that doesn't just happen overnight for most people. Then there's some people like Rebecca Black who become overnight sensations and have millions of views on their hits. And now they get record deals, they get movies, they get TV shows. So I know you've all been waiting now for me to actually explain tips on how to become really good at YouTubing. Like I said, I don't know everything yet, but here are some tips that I've cited that you could actually use and they probably will help you a bit more. They've helped me a bit, at least. Number one, don't be afraid to make videos. No matter if they're short or too long or they think they're not funny at all, just every video helps. Um, one good example I've noticed is Knotts. He is a very famous YouTuber. He has done this very well on YouTube with other little videos. And he does everything from his little comedy bits talking about his family, talking about his life. Um, I know he's very well known for driving while YouTubing. And, but the more videos you have, the more chance you have someone watching your videos. And if you're actually putting out really good stuff, people will probably see you. Number two, don't be afraid to embarrass yourself because if you're going to become famous on YouTube or try to become popular on YouTube, you're probably going to have to embarrass yourself. I know there's um, Lots of videos I can reference for this one, because they all, I think some of mine, I think there's one where I'm spinning in circles. Woo! Yeah, that one. Um, that was kind of embarrassing to myself. Um, also, dressing up in a giant gnome costume. Yeah, that didn't help my popularity anymore. Just little things like that can help you gain a lot more popularity, more fans, and you never know. A nice thing about YouTube is that if you do become successful enough, and you have enough fans, and you have enough views, you can actually start making money off YouTube. It's a program called Google AdSense, and this is a program that you can actually use, and it will actually allow you to have, uh, whenever people hit on your channel, you will actually get the money back. So, say I have an ad that's like right here -ish. and it probably says like come to Stratford click that link and it goes to their website and I get like maybe like half a cent towards sending them to that website but as you become more and more famous on YouTube and get more hits you actually get better people wanting to advertise on your page not only that you'll get a lot more privileges like being able to edit your channels adding more photos getting more awesome addy things here right now I have basics it's not that bad so I'm hoping you learned something today because I did learn a lot during this project. It's hard to show what you've learned kind of because viral videos is something that you, it's an activity. It's not really something you can just explain how to do it. Everyone does it in their own way. So I make rant videos and I try to make people laugh. People record songs, they do sketches, they make TV shows. Everyone has their own kind of way of doing YouTube. It's not really a set how to do guide. You can't really buy that anywhere or find it anywhere. 
So my best advice that I've learned over this project is be yourself, be original, and when all else fails, run to a wall because that or sing a song about a day of a week. Yes, that was a Rebecca Black joke. And I feel that YouTube is having, it will have issues in the future. Like right now, I think a big problem is copyright laws. I've had videos that I've lost due to copyright laws. What it means is that you can take someone else's work and post it on YouTube. And that can be the form of anything, from a live concert that you actually filmed, to a song, to just anything. I had a video that did fairly well recently, it was me dancing to the new Aqua song, and it was deleted by YouTube because of copyright infringements. YouTube is just a website that posts the videos. They watch out for stuff like that, but mainly it's going to be up to the people that own the songs, so like the recording companies, the artists themselves, the producers. They will look for songs and they will look for videos and they will flag them and tell you that they've actually been copyrighted. So if you think you're going to get away with it, you probably won't. If you have permission to use the song, then go right ahead. But most of us don't have permission from Katy Perry to use fireworks, or in my case, Aqua's new song, uh, How Are You Doing? Sorry, Aqua, I didn't have permission to use that song, and I apologize for that. The main point is that YouTube has become a huge sensation around the world. People around the world are YouTubing. It's not only been used for just kind of funny comedy videos, but also for serious tragedies, such as the earthquake in Japan. So not only is it bringing a new way of sharing videos for fun, but also for journalism, for educational purposes. So I hope by watching the video, get a better sense of what YouTube is and what I have discovered through doing this project. I want to just say that by watching all these videos, I have gained respect for a lot of these people that make videos on YouTube. By meeting them, I've gained even more respect because it can be a full-time job. If you're lucky enough to have a very successful video, you could quit your day job and just make videos all day long. And I think that's a dream for a lot of people. Most people will never get to that place. So you know what, you can't rely on that for just income if you're just starting out. I think a lot of people underestimate the power of YouTube, especially people that don't know anything about it, or people that are just kind of YouTube watchers and don't understand how hard it actually is to make a YouTube channel and keep it updated. It is a lot of work. For this one basic channel, I film usually on Thursdays, I film about a good 10 minutes of footage, and then it's about two hours of editing, going through it, watching it over again, and then uploading it. So it is a bit of time. That's only for one video a week. There's people that make videos three or four times a week, and double the amount of editing time and filming. I film one complete shot. It's not a lot for me to film. Anyway, I feel my time is up as I only have 15 minutes to talk about this and I think the clock is running up. I want to thank you for watching this video. Please let me know if there's any comments, any things I got wrong, any things I got right. Because I do want to know what people think about this video. But Caroline, thank you for watching my video. And um, yeah, go research methods. And also, I'm going to link a lot of the videos that I've mentioned in this project and also other ones that I think are amazing, that I look up to, as they've done very well in the YouTube scene, in my comment box, because I can't actually put them on my video. I really want to hear from you though, so please just leave me a little comment explaining how I did on this project, if you think that um, I got the facts right or not, because I feel that I've learned a lot about YouTube and how much harder it is to actually make a video go viral, and I hope that just the few kind of ideas that I've learned, and um, hopefully it'll help you. Thanks so much for my video, everyone. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet already, and um, watch out for my next video coming up this week. Take care, everyone. Bye. I always end my videos with a nice photo of me and a fun quote. I got nothing this time. Sorry.